May the peace of the Lord be with you all. As we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Come, let us now listen to the Word of God. March 6th, 2024. Third Wednesday of Lent. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. So now, Israel, give heed to the statutes and ordinances that I am teaching you to observe, so that you may live to enter and occupy the land that the Lord, the God of your ancestors, is giving you. See, just as the Lord my God has charged me, I now teach you statutes and ordinances for you to observe in the land that you are about to enter and occupy. You must observe them diligently, for this will show your wisdom and discernment to the peoples, who, when they hear all these statutes, will say, Surely this great nation is a wise and discerning people. For what other great nation has a God so near to it as the Lord our God is whenever we call to him? And what other great nation has statutes and ordinances as just as this entire law that I am setting before you today? But take care and watch yourselves closely, so as neither to forget the things that your eyes have seen nor to let them slip from your mind all the days of your life, make them known to your children and your children's children. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem! Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem! Praise your God, O Zion. For he strengthens the bars of your gates, he blesses your children within you. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. He sends out his command to the earth, his word runs swiftly. He gives snow like wool, he scatters frost like ashes. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and ordinances to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any other nation, they do not know his ordinances. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Matthew. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets, I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments, and teaches others to do the same, will be called least in the kingdom of heaven, but whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord Gospel Reflection The Old Law, the law from the Old Testament, prescribed various moral precepts, as well as ceremonial precepts for worship. Jesus makes it clear that he is not abolishing all that God taught through Moses and the prophets. This is because the New Testament is the culmination and completion of the Old Testament. Thus, nothing of old was abolished, it was fulfilled and brought to completion. The moral precepts of the Old Testament were laws that flowed primarily from human reason. It made sense that one should not kill, steal, commit adultery, lie, etc. It also made sense that God should be honored and respected. The Ten Commandments and the other moral laws still hold today. But Jesus brings us much further. He not only called us to go much deeper in the keeping of these commandments, he also promised the gift of grace so that they could be fulfilled. Thus, thou shall not kill, is deepened to the requirement of complete and total forgiveness of those who persecute us. It's interesting to note that the new depth of the moral law Jesus gives actually goes beyond human reason. Thou shall not kill, makes sense to almost everyone but, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, is a new moral law that makes sense only by the help of grace. But without grace, the natural human mind alone cannot arrive at this new commandment. 
This is extremely helpful to understand, because oftentimes we go through life relying upon our human reason alone when it comes to making moral decisions. And though our human reason will always direct us away from the most obvious moral failures, it will be insufficient alone to guide us to the heights of moral perfection. Grace is necessary for this high calling to make sense. Only by grace can we understand and fulfill the call to take up our crosses and follow Christ. Reflect, today, upon your own calling to perfection. If it doesn't make sense to you how God can expect perfection of you, then pause and reflect upon the fact that you are right, it doesn't make sense to human reason alone. Pray that your human reason will be flooded with the light of grace so that you will be able to not only understand your high calling to perfection but that you will also be given the grace you need to achieve it. Let us pray. My Most High Jesus, you have called us to a new height of holiness. You have called us to perfection. Enlighten my mind, dear Lord, so that I may understand this high calling and pour forth your grace so that I may embrace my moral duty to the fullest extent. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family, so that they may also be blessed as you are. May God bless you.